Miss Trish. I'm Reba McIntyre, and I get to play, it was at first a mermaid, I thought, and then a sea ghost, and then a water spirit. I like the water spirit a lot better than a sea ghost. So I play uh, Star and Barb's imaginary, I think a hero friend, somebody named Trish that they really want to be great friends with. You know, they've got this imagination friend that uh, is Trish and that's who I become. I'm still not sure that happened, that Reba was in our movie. I feel like it was a, some sort of dream. Also, I've never seen like a set just be like, oh my God, <laughs> she walked on set and everyone was like, is that Reba McIntyre? We're like, yeah, she's playing, she's playing Trish and we, she's gonna be floating in the water. It was, it was so surreal. That was one of the moments for Annie and I too, like, because it was kind of early on in shooting and there's so much in the script where we're like, is this, are we really gonna shoot this? And that was the one we were like, oh my God, this is, Trish is real, that's Reba. We kind of couldn't believe it. She was amazing. To me, a woman named Trish is a woman you can count on, really has her act together. Athletic, natural, just real natural. Trish is somebody that Barb and Star have come up with. And it's so funny that they both like the name Trish. And so they are making up this person in their minds and finishing their sentences with her favorite number is four, and she likes this. And it goes on almost the whole flight coming from Nebraska. There was an email letter from Annie and Kristen saying how much they would love for me to be a part of this movie. And I thought, oh my gosh, how many people get letters from these two very talented, funny women? And so I read the script I was in Caesars, um, Brooks and Dunn and I do a residency in Las Vegas at Caesars, so I was there doing the show and I was reading this and I thought, man, this is funny. And now what part am I gonna play? So I read the email again and went back to the, to the pages where I am, of course, that's what you look for. And then you start at the very beginning and read it all. And it was hysterical, very funny. And one of those type of parts that you go, really? A sea ghost, okay. I think a sea ghost or a sea spirit is sort of like a mermaid, and I don't know why we're not calling it a mermaid because that's pretty cool, except I don't get to wear the bottom part of the mermaid outfit, you never see it. But I am a water spirit. I don't know what the difference is.